Alright, so in this video we are going to look at creating a histogram uh, based on our frequencies here and a relative uh, frequency histogram. Well, actually I probably won't do the relative frequency histogram because it's, it's going to be done exactly the same way as the frequency histogram. Uh, I might just get it going but not format the chart like I do this one. <coughs> All right. So, if you if you look at this at the table I have, this uh, frequency distribution, and uh, this this has uh, formulas in it, uh, you can see. And I created this table here and calculated these values in another video uh, based on the data I have over here. <coughs> and you can check that other video out if you want to see how I actually created this table. I'll have a link to it in the description of this video. Alright, so let's go ahead and do our uh, histogram. So we're gonna select the frequency column because that's the ones I want to plot. <clears throat> then I'll come over here to insert and uh, on the charts I want to insert a 2D column, uh, clustered column. So I'll click that and there it is. <clears throat> now we want to clean this up a little bit so make it look a little nicer. Uh, so first thing let's go ahead and change the chart title so I just click on the chart title and then I can start typing. Uh, this could be customer uh, ages and hit enter. Uh, the <coughs> the horizontal axis. Okay, so so let's look at this how it's labeled. See that's one, two, three, but that's not what I want. I want it to go twenty two to twenty nine for here and 30 to 37 for this one. So the way that I'm going to have to do that is I'm going to have to create me another column here. okay? And I'm going to have to put this 20 to 29 in one cell. So the way I can do that is I can hit equals and I can click on that cell because I want the 22 and then I need a dash in there I need some text so I'm gonna put and that's gonna combine these and then quotes text goes in quotes and then my dash and close quotes and if you want to you can put a space in there and it'll have a space between the numbers and the dash it doesn't you know it doesn't matter you can do whatever you want and so there's my dash in between the two numbers and then I'm going to put and and then I want this upper limit and I just hit enter and so there it is 22 to 29 and then I want to copy this down so I'm just going to click here and then you see how the you see how it changes the plus well you grab the right hand corner there left click hold it down and just drag and there it is. And so now we have all of these, they're just in one cell. Alright, so now I want to get these on my axis here. So what I'm going to do, I click on my chart, and then I'm going to click on my horizontal axis, and I want to, I'm going to right click, well, let's see, I'm going to right click, format axis, Okay, and you see this pops up. Uh, <clears throat> well, what we need is up here, we'll go here to design, and then you see this select data. So I hit select data. Okay, and so now the horizontal category axis labels, I'm going to click edit, and I'm going to move this over. I'm going to have to move my chart over. Now let's see, let's cancel out of that. I don't, I didn't give myself enough room, did I? So let's 
Let's move it over so I can get to this. So I'm over here on the design. I hit select data. Okay. And then I hit edit. And then I want to select my range. Well, that's this. And then I click and you can see how it changes it. Okay. And then we just click on OK and hit OK again. Alright, so let's get the let's get the chart over here. Alright, so <clears throat> now a histogram has no gaps here. Okay, there's no gaps. So what I want to do is click on one of these data bars and you see this format data series over here. I want to click on this series option, this thing here, and you see where it says gap width? I'm going to change that to zero. Okay, And then I'm going to come over here to fill and line, and I need I need a border because if, I mean you don't want this all one solid color. So I'm going to put a solid line and just make sure that the color is black so you can see the lines. You don't want them the same color as, as the bars. Okay. Now, here I need to enter in a, uh, an axis label. So I will come here to chart elements and we see where it says axis titles and I see I went to the plus and then axis titles I'll click on that well this one I don't really need it because it tells me what it is it's customer ages so I'll just click on that one and delete it and then click on this one and then just start typing and we can just label that age categories okay. and we'll hit enter <clears throat> and so there's a there's a nice little uh, histogram. I don't don't think there's really much more we can do with it. So, and now, <clears throat> if you want to, what you can do is <clears throat> you can uh, move this chart because you. I mean, you can see how cluttered up it is. But what you can do is you can right click on the chart and you can hit move chart and what we want to do is move it to a new sheet and so we click on new sheet and we can label we can name the sheet uh, histogram and then I'll hit OK and then you can see it it has its own sheet now and this is what it looks like so you know but that's up to you if you want to put it on a new sheet or put it somewhere on the same sheet We'll just leave it over there so we can work on this next one. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is going to be the same thing. I'm just using a different set of values. I'm just using these. So, I highlight this, <clears throat> and then I'll go up here to insert. Uh, and then we'll go to a bar chart. All right. And, you know, like I said, it's going to be... It's going to be the same thing. We'll come over here and the data. Go over here, make sure I'm on design. Click this. Hit select data. Hit edit. Select range. So that's going to change my data labels down here, just like we did in the other chart. And so there they are. And I'll hit OK. We'll chart title. This is. Uh, customer age and we can call this relative frequency histogram and hit enter and we can take out the parenthesis there and so there we have that uh, so now maybe we click on the chart we want to add an axis title so I hit the plus axis title I'll get rid of that one and this one 
we'll call it the same as last time age categories hit enter and then we want to take the gap off so I'll select one of the bars right click hit format data series and you can see it's already here on the series options and I'll change my gap width to zero and we'll want to come over here and make sure we have a border a solid line make sure it's black and it is and so here is here's this histogram relative frequency histogram and you know and you can move this one to another sheet right click on it and hit move chart and you can do it the same as you did here I guess we'll go ahead and do that move chart um, and I don't know let's see let's try this maybe we can move it to the as an object in the histogram sheet so let's hit OK and there it is it just kinda put it on top so what we can do is maybe let's see maybe resize this one I don't know no it doesn't resize so maybe that wasn't too good of an idea so we'll how about we go and undo so but anyway so maybe don't try to do that just you know take it to let's see how about move chart well, good thing we messed up uh, let's put it back in this sheet that it was in so there you go so maybe I did I did that on purpose to show you oh, I didn't all right so let's right click on it move chart object in no let's go to new sheet and we'll do relative frequency now let's abbreviate it relative relative frequency histogram all right and we hit OK and there it is in its own sheet and and if you want to if you want these to be behind the customer ages you just hold your left mouse button down and just move it and then same thing here And so now you, you got them in order there. All right, so I hope this video helped. Um, and like I said, I'll leave a link in, a link in the description to, to this, uh, to how I did this table too. All right, so you can subscribe and check out my other videos. All right, thanks.